welcome to another mapping video where I share my progress with you about what I learned in Hammer. I want to clarify again that these videos are not supposed to be tutorials at all, but rather just a fun little showcase of what I've been doing. Starting off, you can see the map that I made in the footage on screen. I took some of the advice you shared in the previous mapping video's comments and I got to learn about AI nodes and hint nodes, entities and lighting and more. First, let's take a look at this one minute clip of the map then I'll show you what I did. So right at the beginning there's a trigger and a game text entity. When the player passes through the trigger, this gets fired and the text eliminate while the screen appears on screen. Then moving down, there's a bunch of ground nodes, um, hint nodes, and basically I've been experimenting. Basically I'm trying to figure out how to place these, how to use these, how many sh should there be in a map, uh, what's enough and what's too little. In here. Uh, honestly, I don't know how to do button. I made this invisible funk button and when the player presses it, it's tied up to this uh, fun funk door and this gets opened up like so. On the other room, there's not too much, um, ju just one ground node because there's not a whole lot of cover. There we got two people here and they have hints that they can crouch and sometimes uh, they do crouch and sometimes they just ignore this so I'm not sure what's going on there similarly um, these people are part of a squad so they can move together uh, a bunch of ground nodes and hints that's that again same story here all part of a squad there's a bunch of ground nodes behind the cover so they can move there like they can move behind this uh, console, this little wall, glass wall. And inside there's another game text which is basically tied up to wall screen. And if he dies then this gets fired and it says target eliminated. That's pretty much it. Uh, next up we're gonna be texturing the uh, map. So after that one of the important things I learned was that maps using depth textures aren't really a good way to do lighting. Sure, you can use dev textures to lay out and block out the map, but you need to texture the map first before you start doing the lighting. Because since lighting bounces off of surfaces in the source engine, I learned it's better to texture the map first, even if it's basic like you see here. And as you can notice, after applying the citadel textures, which are naturally dark, the whole map's at atmosphere has turned much more darker. Next what I'll be trying to improve is adding a little depth to maps. What I mean by that is right now my maps look very boxy. They're all boxes. I did try to add in these pillars and other protruding elements to the maps but they looked okay but not that great. One thing I want to clarify is that I'm using Gary's mod for this. Some people did raise a very understandable and reasonable point that I should be using Half-Life 2. But I use Gary's mod because I'm more interested in uh, making a map for it rather than a mod for Half-Life. I don't think I'll be able to make mods in the near future. Secondly, it's just cool to spawn in custom weapons and use that. And that's pretty much it for this one. It's not a long video I know but I just wanted to share what I did with the mapping thing and next time I'll look into how water textures work in Hammer and how I can utilize them in a map. Quite a few people recommended me that. so. Thanks for watching, and a big thanks to these benefactors for supporting the channel. Tedasaur, Autocon Nachos, T-Boy301, Connie Ecoleja, Lamdry, Decoder Mapping, Skyclad, Van Puffin, Mope Roadkill, Quiltman, Anose98, Walter, Zick, 
Polly, Unusual, Taylor, Baco, Ryan W, Noclick, Geode, Fisher Grice, TTG, Hawk Assault, Mistress Pabon, Alien Grunt, Mark Jellen, A Normal Street Lamp, TRR Droid, and Bipolet. Thanks again, and see you in the next one.